Friday, July 21st, 2023, Evening Edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated video. Hello, dear viewers. I'm your AI-generated news anchor, IntelliReport, also known as Nexus Vanguard III. 3000, thank you for tuning in. We appreciate your support as we continue bringing you fresh segments every single day. And if you aren't subscribed yet, please feel free to do so today. Thanks again. In today's news, bisexual men sound more macho. Night vision captures UFO in flight. Ice core finds sea rise potential. CNN. Yanks say no to moon glow. Olkzak's earnings beat smoke-free feet. And much more. But first, this day in history. July 21st in history. July 21st, 285. Diocletian appoints Maximian as Caesar and co-ruler. July 21st, 365. The 365 Crete earthquake affected the Greek island of Crete with a maximum Mercalli intensity of Tsevuta, extreme, causing a destructive tsunami that affects the coasts of Libya and Egypt, especially Alexandria. Many thousands are killed. Today's obituaries. Arno Bedard, 58, Swiss journalist, l'illustre, and author. Here's a summary of Arno Bedard's Wikipedia page. The article states that Arno Bedard was a Swiss journalist and author who worked for Le Lustre. He was born on March 8, 1965, and passed away on July 20, 2023, at the age of 58. Massimiliano Damarini, 72, Italian pianist. Matei Agathon Dan, 73, Romanian politician, MP, 1992-2004, and Minister of Tourism, 1992-1996. Here's a summary of Matei Agathon Dan's Wikipedia page. Matei Agathon Dan was a Romanian economist and politician. He served as the Tourism Minister from 1992 to 1996, and again from 2000 to 2003. He died on July 20th, 2023, at the age of 73. Meryl J. Fernando, 93, Sri Lankan tea industry executive, founder of Dilma. Here's a summary of Meryl J. Fernando's Wikipedia page. Meryl J. Fernando, the founder and CEO of tea company Dilma, has died at the age of 93. Fernando was known for his philanthropy and commitment to ethical food production. He was honoured with numerous awards throughout his career. Jamie Galasa Zavala, 92, Ecuadorian writer, lung disease. Here's a summary of Jamie Galasa Zavala's Wikipedia page. Jamie Galasa Zavala was an Ecuadorian writer, poet, journalist and politician who published over 20 books. He was also the first minister of the environment in Ecuador and received the Premio Eugenio Espejo in 2007. Bill Geddy, 68, American television producer, The View. Here's a summary of Bill Geddy's Wikipedia page. Bill Geddy, co-creator and executive producer of The View, has passed away at the age of 68. He was known for his work on the popular daytime talk show and received several Emmy nominations and awards throughout his career. Luis Giraldo, 31 Puerto Rican jockey. Here's a summary of Luis Giraldo's Wikipedia page. Luis Giraldo Carasquillo, a Puerto Rican horse racing jockey, passed away at the age of 31. Giraldo had a successful career, winning 14 horse racing classics and over 1,000 races. The cause of his death is under investigation. Famous people born on this day. July 21st, 1976. Jamie Murray. English actress. July 21st, 1917. Alan B. Gold, Canadian lawyer and jurist, died 2005. July 21st, 1976, Jalmari Halander, Finnish film director and screenwriter. Brief summary of Jalmari Halander's Wikipedia page. 
Jalmari Hellander finished Filmmaker True, directed Rare Exports, Big Game 2. Now with Sisu, a WDA2 affair, his filmography grows with talent rare. Business news. Tesla, TSLA, stock crashes on anticipated lower production and a real recall. Electric. AI summary of this story. Tesla's stock dropped over 8% after CEO Elon Musk announced lower production expectations for the quarter due to global factory upgrades. Additionally, Tesla confirmed a recall of 15,869 Model S and Model X vehicles due to improperly attached seat belts, which some media speculate may have contributed to the stock price drop. However, the recall is not expected to have a significant financial impact on the company. Casa Bonita employees release list of demands. Nine News, ComQSA. AI summary of the story. A group of 50 employees at Casa Bonita, an iconic restaurant in Lakewood, Colorado, has presented management with a list of demands aimed at improving working conditions. The demands include clarifying hours of operation, access to health benefits, and reinstating former employees lost through contract-related disputes. The employees have given management a week to respond. Casa Bonita management has stated that they strive to create the best working environment for all employees and are open to discussing concerns. The employees' demands were drafted with the help of nonprofit organization Restaurant Opportunities Centers United. Philip Morris CEO Jacek Olczak on earnings beat, driven by smoke-free product growth, CNBC Television. Science News. This white dwarf star has two faces. Ars Technica. The AI summary of this story. Astronomers have discovered a white dwarf star with two distinct faces. One side is hydrogen and the other side is helium. The star, nicknamed Janus, is believed to be in the midst of a rare transition from a hydrogen to a helium-dominant surface. The asymmetry may be explained by magnetic fields or changes in pressure and density of atmospheric gases. The discovery may lead to the identification of more two-faced white dwarf stars in the future. Long-lost Greenland ice core suggests potential for disastrous sea level rise. CNN. AI summary of this story. A new study has revealed that a large part of Greenland was ice-free around 400,000 years ago when temperatures were similar to those we are experiencing today. This overturns previous assumptions that most of Greenland's ice sheet has been frozen for millions of years and has alarming implications for sea level rise. If Greenland's ice sheet were to melt completely, sea levels would rise by about 7 meters, 23 feet, causing devastation to coastal areas. The loss of ice also accelerates global warming as white ice is replaced with darker rock and vegetation, which absorbs more of the sun's energy. Poll finds Americans cool to NASA plans to return to moon, the Washington Post. AI summary of this story. A new poll conducted by the nonprofit Pew Research Center has found that most Americans believe that monitoring for asteroids that could hit Earth should be NASA's top priority, followed by monitoring climate change. Only 12% of respondents said that returning astronauts to the moon should be NASA's top priority, while just 11% said that a human landing on Mars should be the top priority. The survey also found that 65% of respondents believe it is essential for NASA to continue to be involved in space exploration. And 55% think that people will routinely be traveling to space as tourists in the next 50 years. However, only 35% of respondents said they would be interested in orbiting Earth in a spacecraft. Health news. Washington health officials investigate first case of drug-resistant fungus in Pierce County, meant Fox News. AI summary of this story. The first case of Candida auris, a multi-drug-resistant fungus, has been diagnosed in Washington state. The patient, a man from Pierce County, tested positive for colonization of the fungus and had not recently traveled out of state. Health officials are investigating the case and are working to prevent the spread of the fungus. C. auris can cause severe illness, especially in those with serious medical conditions. Bisexual men tend to be perceived as more masculine sounding than both gay and straight men. Study finds Psypost. T.A.I. summary of this story. 
A study published in the Journal of Sex Research found that listeners are unable to accurately determine if a man identifies as bisexual based solely on his voice. The study also revealed that bisexual men's voices were perceived as more masculine than both gay and straight men's voices. The research highlights the need for further investigation into the relationship between voice and sexual orientation. How to make babies outside the bedroom, The Economist. Entertainment news. The proof is out there, Night Vision Rod, UFO exclusive, season two, history. AI summary of this story. Unfortunately, without knowing the text or the article, I am unable to summarize it in 30 words or less. A casual viewer's guide to the SAG after strike, Hollywood Reporter. AI summary of this story. Actors are on strike due to a lack of agreement with studios and streamers on a new contract covering scripted TV and movies. The key issues at stake include artificial intelligence and compensation from streaming. The strike is related to the ongoing writer's strike, as both unions have overlapping concerns about AI and residual payments from streaming. Streaming has disrupted actors' compensation models, and the union is requesting a share in revenue from streaming projects. Some actors are urging consumers to cancel their streaming subscriptions. CEOs Bob Iger and David Zaslav have faced criticism from striking members. Fran Drescher, known for her role in The Nanny, is leading the actors' union. Oppenheimer brings painful memories for New Mexico Hispanics. Axios. Bisexual men, oh what a trend, macho they sound, but pray comprehend, why must we label, why must we bind to rigid ideas to narrow our mind? Night vision captures UFO on a whim, in flight it soars with a mystical hymn Shakespeare would ponder and question with grace, do we dare dismiss this wondrous space? Ice core tells tales of seas rising heat, potential to drown us, oh what a feat, CNN shouts it loud for all to see, but will we take action or just let it be? Yanks say no to moon glow, oh what a shame. Dreams of exploration gone up in flame. Shakespeare would sigh at this mischance to boldly go forth in a cosmic dance. Old Zach's earnings beat smoke free indeed, a victory claimed for lungs in great need. But Shakespeare would ask with a skeptical tone, is this truly progress or just a mere loan? Oh, historical events and headlines galore, each with a story that we can't ignore. But let us not be blinded by the rhymes, for truth must prevail, even in these times. Why is the new Kindle screen textured to look like paper, so you feel right at home? How do the trees get on the internet? They log on. Hope you enjoyed today's artificial intelligence generated news digest AGNDD. For more, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to activate notifications. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.